A more immediate way of making edits to a recording would be by carrying them out in the studio at the time the recording was being made. This can be done by an electronic device which is part of the videotape machine and is linked to the studio by a remote control. In fact, the machine itself makes the edit by changing from the playback to the record function at a predetermined point. This is done by the director pressing a button in the studio gallery. What happens is that a signal is recorded onto the cue track of the tape at the point at which the edit is to be made. There is no physical cutting of the tape involved and the machine makes the necessary compensation for the sound displacement. When the tape is rerun, the machine will switch at this point from playback to record. However, in order that the position of the cue signal is exact, this changeover can be rehearsed on the studio monitors and altered if necessary. This method of editing allows the director to deal with planned or even unplanned breaks. In the recording of this program, if the continuous output from a studio is recorded without any adjustments, the tape can be transmitted as soon as required. But there are occasions when a director will want to alter a part of his program, either to join one sequence to another, to shorten it, or to replace one scene by another. This he can do by editing the tape in a number of different ways. The simplest way of making an editing point without involving ourselves in the sound and vision displacement problem would be to make a cut where both vision and sound fade to black and silence. If we join this scene to another where the reverse happened, a sound and vision fade in, it would be possible to make the actual join clear of all signals and there would then be no indication that the sections had been joined. If there were a similar sound from one scene to another, an edit could be made in a similar way. Such a join made between a fade out, fade in would appear like this in an actual program. Start your track, two, and we mix. Please. This machine is making a sound and vision recording of the children's program you've just been watching. Videotape recording is a method of storing pictures and sound signals from television cameras in such a way that they can be reviewed immediately, alterations can be made to both picture and sound, and subsequently the program can be transmitted at any given time. Videotape recording uses, in principle, the same methods as an ordinary sound tape recorder, which puts an electronic signal onto a piece of oxide-coated tape, passing at a given speed over a recording head. In appearance, the VTR machine looks like a vast sound tape recorder. The tape it uses is much wider, two inches in fact, and it runs through the machine at about 15 inches every second. These spools can take up to 90 minutes of recording before reloading. When the VTR machine is in the record position, the master erase head wipes all unwanted signals from the tape before it comes in contact with the recording heads.